caring is loving. Caring is giving back, giving thanks, um, and just showing a bit of, bit of heart. It's creating a sense of community, knowing that you're part of something bigger than yourself. Making sure that everybody has the chance to make the best of their life. Welcome to another episode of WA Weekender. Now I'm standing out the front of the Perth Mint, which I'm sure many of you recognise. But did you know that this is one of the oldest mints in the world that still operates from its original premises? I had no idea. But there's more about that later in the show. We have so much packed in today's program. On today's show, Hayley teaches her dog a few new tricks. Sarah shows us where you can find hidden art all around town. It's not here, it's up there. And Matt takes dude food to the streets. You Perthians you just have to come down and gobble them all up. You know, if I had to pick it, I can confidently say there are a few things I love more than grabbing the camera and heading out on the hunt for a good landscape photo. The thing is, you don't need to go far either. You might think Kimberley or Karajini or the coastline of Esperance. It's not true. It's right here in our very own beautiful backyard. Perth has it all. In fact, there's one spot just over there that I've got my eye on. I'll come and show you. I thought today I'd start out at Trigg and work my way back to the city. Who doesn't love Fremantle? It's such a vibrant city full of rich history. And even though I've been here plenty of times, I'm always discovering something new. The city of Fremantle is planning to double its cycling rates by 2017 to become Australia's most bike-friendly city. So I thought I'd put it to the test and go on my very own bike tour of Frio. Now there's plenty to see, so let's get to it. everything to do with art and one of the things I like most about living in Perth is the fact that it's all around us. So much so you can practically trip over it whilst walking through the CBD. So today I'm going to check out some of Perth's best known pieces. WA Weekender is your guide to everything that's happening across our state and there are plenty of exciting activities happening over the next few weeks so let's take a look at the calendar. Until the end of August it's the winter art season in Perth. From dance performances to a poetry festival, no matter what you're into this season you're bound to find something that's fun so check out the website for all the details. Check out waweekender.com.au to find out more. Well, it's that time again. Now, thanks so much for watching. We've had another great show. Don't forget to tune in again next week because, well, really, there's just so much of this incredible state that we'd like to show you. We'll see you then. Of Australia's